Hello and welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about something that you will have walked on many times, maybe without ever wondering why it was there. Or maybe you have wondered why it was there but never actually managed to come to the right conclusion. We're talking about pavement smoke outlets. But before we start on that, we're going to take one step back and find out why we need them in the first place. In a basement, there's a requirement to have smoke outlets connecting directly to the open air from every basement storey, except for if the storey has a maximum floor area of 200 metres squared and it's no more than 3 metres below the adjacent ground level. Whilst we have to vent these areas with smoke outlets connecting directly to the open air, we can't just have holes all over the place as it will make the streets somewhat treacherous. Enter the pavement smoke outlet. As the name might suggest, pavement smoke outlets are required where a basement has smoke ventilation that terminates underneath the pavement. This is specifically detailed in approved document B, volume 1, section 16, page 106. Pavement smoke outlets come in different types. The first type I'm going to show you is right near here, near Trafalgar Square, and this is what's known as a breakout or pavement light smoke outlet. Firefighters will use tools such as a hammer or a pickaxe to smash the glass to allow the smoke to vent from the basement. Other types, such as this unit just up the road, are lift-out panels that can be lifted out by fire and rescue personnel. The panels must be identified, usually by a small brass plaque. It's important that outlets like these aren't placed where they would stop people from safely evacuating the building. For that reason, you won't usually find them near doorways. Now, for those of you who are a little bit geeky, maybe like me, (laughs) is a little bit more detail. In the past, doubts have been cast on the effectiveness of breakout pavement light ventilation, and a 2004 government literature review by Brian Hume draws on a study for the Department of the Environment by the Fire Research Station, which found that these vents didn't lead to a significant improvement. However, that research was contradicted by experiments carried out by the Fire Experimental Unit, which concluded that these pavement light units could have a significant benefit in improving the firefighting environment, especially when this type of ventilation was combined with PPV or positive pressure fans to help force the smoke out of these vents. As a result of these two conflicting studies, the Home Office recommended in 1996 that the existing provisions for basement ventilation should remain within the revised approved documents as an interim measure. It is worth being aware that the report does note that the operation of these pavement light vents is uncontrolled and therefore their operation could potentially place firefighters in the path of an unpredictable fire development. Now I've pointed them out to you, hopefully you'll be noticing this type of ventilation every time you walk through any built up area. If you've ever seen one in action, drop me a note below because I'd be fascinated to hear. Thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed the video give it a like, if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to get these videos every single week and as always I'll look forward to seeing you next week, bye for now.